In today's world, there's no turning back on our reliance on the communication age. From healthcare to high tech and everything in between, IT infrastructure and the data security that comes with it are at the core of how we all operate in our daily lives and work on the construction of new data centers that support our society was not something that could simply be turned off during the pandemic. It was truly essential work. Enter the NECA IBEW Powering America team. Take our work on this 400,000 square foot DSM 09 and 10 job in Des Moines, Iowa. Baker Electric, Tri-City Electric, and IBEW Local 354 had to incorporate a whole new set of work requirements on top of what was already a challenging task. Thermal screening, face masks, hand washing stations, and distancing were all new twists that had to be incorporated into a demanding work routine. If workers didn't feel safe amidst a global pandemic, it would be that much harder to focus on the task at hand. But besides our history of craftsmanship and professionalism, the Powering America team always puts the safety of our people first. Even if that means implementing, and adhering to, health measures that simply had never come up before. It was a time of living alone, working remotely. A time where business meetings, the education of our children, and simply reaching out to one another was dependent on the functioning backbone of the internet. It was work that could not wait, because as much as our customer was counting on us, society was too. Pre-pandemic saw an era where the internet was growing so fast already, customers were asking not only, can you build this, but how fast can you build this? The Cyrus One project in Sterling, Virginia was one such job for the NECA IBEW Powering America team. The first project, called Goliath, required the construction of a 220,000-square-foot facility, delivering 20 megawatts of power. The second project, a little smaller, was called David, needing 120,000 square feet of space to deliver about 10 more megawatts. Throughout it all, Rosenden Electric and IBEW26 were called on to deliver the critical power, to run the servers, that run the internet, that talks to our millions of devices. Critical power is exactly that. It requires a level of skill and tradecraft, combined with speed and attention to safety, that are right in the wheelhouse of this Powering America team. Both Rosenden and Local 26 have professionals across the board that specialize in this kind of work. From executives, to superintendents, to project managers, to foremen and sub-foremen, to a large workforce. It was a project that didn't track progress by months, but by hours. Add into the equation the fact that if things weren't done right the first time, there wasn't time for rework. So how'd we do? Working in round-the-clock shifts, Goliath was completed in a then-record six months. David, even faster. Going down a slightly different road, high-tech manufacturing was an established part of big business well before the internet explosion and the Powering America team was no stranger to that either. When Intel was building one of the largest chip manufacturing facilities in the world in Portland, Oregon, it needed an electrical construction team up to the task. Enormous doesn't even seem like a big enough word to describe the financial investment this type of manufacturing requires. It is the result of an exacting culture of excellence and accountability that must be shared by everyone in the process. That's where the NECA IBEW Code of Excellence proved to be a difference maker. Electrical contractors and labor working together as one, with a shared commitment to quality and productivity, is appealing to a company with the very same corporate culture. That's why the Code of Excellence has since been copied by other trades in the construction industry and remains a staple of the NECA IBEW business approach today. Our message to owners and stakeholders in the data center and high-tech manufacturing sector looking to maximize their investment? We got this.